Hi guys, today is Truckers Tuesday. Thanks for watching and thanks for joining us today. So um, we're gonna pretty much get right into it. So today we're gonna talk about is trucking shutting down? Um, we have got a lot of questions in regards to this. So before we get started, you guys know what to do. Hit the subscribe button, click the bell to receive notifications. If you do like the video, um, please make sure you share it on your Facebook page. You can follow us on social media, Facebook and Instagram at Bumblebee Dispatch. And you can follow me at Miss Petty 85 of course, you can contact us via our website, which is bumblebeedispatch.com, social media, and or email. Again, today is Truckers Tuesday, every Tuesday at 7 p.m. Make sure you tell your friends. And sometimes the video will be um, on the website a little bit before 7. So if you get here early to check for the new video, usually around 6.45, we actually premiere it. So, the biggest question we have been getting lately is trucking shutting down. The answer is, of course not. Um, you know, trucking is really the backbone to our economy. So, um, you know, trucking was here basically before I was born, before you guys are born, and it will be here after, you know. So, um, everything that we do utilize as consumers have to be transported. So basically, if you think about when you wake up in the morning, um, any products that you use, so if you go to the bathroom to um, brush your teeth, then the toothpaste, the toothbrush, you know, you probably got from a Walmart or Target, well, it was transported there via a truck. Um, if you use the bathroom, the toilet tissue, the soap you bathe with. So, I mean, everything, guys, we utilize as consumers, it has to be transported some type of way, okay? So if you're going to work in the morning or just out and about and you're putting that fuel in your car, um, how did the fuel get to the gas station? Of course, it got there via trucking. So if someone is actually telling you, hey, trucking is shutting down, you know, don't believe them because it isn't. Um, again, trucking will be here for a long time. Now, we could talk a little bit about the rates. Now, the rates itself may suck, um, but however, again, trucking isn't going anywhere, okay? So if you think about the company, let's look at Uber and how they basically blew up. Even though they were transporting people, guys, it's still transportation and the commodity is people or humans, you know? Um, of course, it's transportation. Now, the gas prices, as we know, are lower and have been low for probably the last few weeks or a month now. And, you know, that is probably one reason that the rates have dropped um, as far as in the trucking industry. Um, it really doesn't matter what the rates are, you will still need a business plan to adjust your business accordingly. So, you know, if the rates are a dollar a mile and you are used to $2 a mile or $1.80 a mile, then maybe you need to cut some expenses. Um, you know, you just really need to pay attention to your finances and you need to know what your operating expenses are so you can still make a profit in today's market, okay? Now, one thing I want you guys to think about, if your truck is sitting, you aren't making any money. Now, um, most of you who know me knows that my oldest brother got me started in the trucking industry. And when I first started dispatching, he would tell me, I don't want my truck sitting. If my truck's sitting, I'm not making any money. You know, he would always instill this in my head and basically tell me that, you know, if the truck is sitting, it isn't making any money. Okay, um, even if your truck may have to deadhead and, re and you have to relocate your equipment, then guys, you need to do so because a sitting truck will have a negative impact on your business, okay? Because your bills are gonna still be due. The insurance company, they don't wanna hear, oh, my truck was sitting, the dispatcher didn't get me a load for two to three days. They don't care. That truck payment you're paying, bills are gonna still be due. It doesn't matter what the reason or excuse is, okay? So if you have a sit-in truck, maybe you need to relocate it, maybe it needs to dead end. okay? You may also need to change your business model. Um, you know, you can contact us if you kind of need some help as far as creating a budget and so forth or and or doing your um, business plan. All right, so the rates may not be that great, but trucking isn't going anywhere. Again, if you do need help putting together your business plan or model, make sure you do contact us. 
Um, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope these videos um, have given you a lot of information. Again, every Tuesday is Truckers Tuesday. Now, before you leave, please make sure you hit that subscribe button, share this video on your Facebook page, follow us on social media, and you can follow me on Instagram at MissPetty85. Thank you for watching.